Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today we are painting the Steel Forge, the newest unit for the Dwego Marmy in Conquest the Last Argument of Kings. These are some really awesome brutes, so let's go ahead and dive into how I painted them. To get this model ready for painting, I've primed it using Ultra Matte Black Paint Plus Primer from rust -Oleum. Now, if I had had it on hand, I would have much rather done Lead Belcher Spray Primer, but in this case, I didn't have that paint on hand. The first thing we're going to do on this project is to base the entire model using Lead Belcher. Now, like I said before, if you have access to the Lead Belcher Spray Primer, you could totally skip this step by priming with Lead Belcher. Once we're happy with that base coat, we're going to shade the entire model using Agrax Earthshade. And you can go as heavy as you'd like on this model, it won't make too much of a difference, it'll just make the model look a little dirtier. After we've allowed that shade to dry, we're going to take Iron Breaker, we're going to do a heavy dry brush of this color over the entire model. This is going to bring back the shiny appearance that we had with our original metal. Now if you don't have Iron Breaker, you can actually do this with Lead Belcher, which is a very similar color. Next we're going to do something very similar, this time using Stormhost Silver, and with this layer of dry brushing we're not going quite as heavy because we're only focused on catching the most raised and prominent surfaces on the model. Now that we finished up that iron color on the model, it's time to take Screaming Bell. We're going to put this on the shoulder pads and on a couple other random panels across the model. This will create some contrast as we start putting additional colors on the model. We're also going to take Balthazar Gold and we're going to use this to paint any pipes that appear on the model. Our next step is to take Karaberg Crimson and we're going to do three thin coats of this over all the Screaming Bell parts on the model. Now you do need to do exactly three coats, if you do more or less, the red color is not going to turn out the way that we want it. After those layers of shade have been allowed to dry completely, we're going to take copper from Pro Acryl and we're going to use this to edge highlight the chips and scratches in the red parts of the armor. We're also going to paint all the trim on the model using this color. Once we're happy with all of the trim work, we're going to take Agrax Earthshade and use this to wash all of the copper trim that we've just done in the last step. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Canoptic Alloy, and we're going to use this to edge highlight all of the copper on the model. Now you could use a silver for this, Canoptic Alloy just has a slightly warmer color tone to it. Now it's time to work on the burning core of this model. We're going to start by basing anywhere that we want to have a burning effect using Wild Rider Red. After we finished up with that red color, we're going to take Averland Sunset and we're going to use this to paint all of the raised ridges and details in the burning areas of the model. We're then going to take Uriel Yellow and we're going to use this to edge highlight the sharpest ridges in the burning parts of the model, but we're not completely covering up the previous color of yellow. Our final step in this project is to take Cassandor Yellow, and we're going to do a heavy wash of this in all the areas that we painted with the orange and yellow. We're also going to paint this lightly on all the areas surrounding that to give a glowing effect on the model. And with that, we finished painting the Steel Forge. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I know I certainly enjoyed making it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and like it, and then subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos that I make. I'd like to give a special shout out to my channel members that make videos like this possible. If you would like to become a channel member, hit the join button below this video. In addition, if you'd like to get involved with chatting directly with me, I've left a link to my Discord server in the description of this video. So go ahead and join there so you can start chatting directly with me. As always, have an amazing day, and we'll catch you in the next one.